Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best skincare ingredients and products that you can use to tackle things like hyperpigmentation and just generally dull skin. If you are new here and you love skincare, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you can also ring the bell if you would like to be notified every time I upload a new video. So when it comes to uneven skin tone, prevention is better than cure. So it's always good if we can use preventative products to stop the issues starting in the first place. But of course that's not always possible. Sometimes the damage is already done, but there are definitely skincare ingredients particularly that you can look out for to help fade the signs of pigmentation. I think the most interesting way for me to do this is to take you through my morning and evening skincare routine using the best products that I like to use to help keep my skin clear and even toned. As it's the morning and my skin is slightly dehydrated, I'm not actually going to use a cleanser. I just like to wet a washcloth and just wipe it all over my face just to remove any oil or leftover products from the night before. So one ingredient that you really want to look out for is niacinamide. I mentioned this on my channel a lot. I've recently been using the Galacto Niacin 97 Power Essence, but there are many products that contain niacinamide that you can use. I'm going to do a comprehensive list of all the different products that I recommend down below. I definitely suggest that you start with something affordable because then it just, you know, gives you the opportunity to try something out and see if it works for you or not without having to spend a fortune. So there are many affordable products containing niacinamide. You've got lots of great Korean skincare products. There's lots of essence and toner products that contain niacinamide. And there's also the more affordable brands such as The Ordinary and also The Inky List that offer serums that contain pure niacinamide. Now some of the ingredients such as vitamin C and retinol, which I'm going to use later on, they can sometimes cause the skin to become a little bit dehydrated. So it's important to keep your skin hydrated, especially if you have got slightly dry skin such as me. So I am going to go in with a hydrating essence now. If you're looking for something that offers the skin hydration, then the best ingredients to look out for are hyaluronic acid and glycerin. They are humectants, so what they do is they work by taking moisture from the air and holding it within your skin. So it's really good to kind of like layer it with other water-based products as well. And then what that will do is it just ensures that uh, the moisture stays within your skin. When the skin is properly hydrated, then that will definitely add to glowing skin and when the skin glows it just generally does look better. Great vitamin C that I've spoken about in several videos before is the Ordinary 100% L-Ascorbic Acid Powder but that's probably not the best thing to use if you've been using niacinamide in your routine you would probably use that in a separate routine so I'm not going to use that today but if you want more information on this product then I've done a couple of reviews on it which I will link down below but what I'm going to go in with today is the Medicaid C Tetra Plus Intense Vitamin C Serum now this is good because it's a vitamin C derivative so it's not as powerful as the L-ascorbic acid which I just showed you before from the ordinary so it will still help tackle things like hyperpigmentation and what it will do is it will help prevent them but it will also help fade them if you have already kind of got uneven skin. It's worth bearing in mind if you're using a vitamin C is that you know they vary quite greatly so if you already have uneven skin tones then you will need to go in with something stronger like a vitamin C of above 20% strength but if you're just looking to prevent it and for day-to-day -day use then you can use a derivative such as this. The Ordinary has got a big selection of different vitamin C products. Some of them contain additional ingredients that will help with pigmentation. So I will link some of the best ones down below so you can check them out. So to finish off this very simple routine, I'm just going to apply some sunscreen. That's a really important preventative step for hyperpigmentation. This also contains niacinamide, so this will add another layer of it into the skin. A combination of niacinamide, a vitamin C derivative and sunscreen is a really good preventative combination and it will also help fade anything as well. 
very simple, just simple ingredients that you can look out for that are definitely affordable and that they will make a huge difference on your skin. Make sure you keep watching because I will be back later on to use some different skincare ingredients in my evening skincare routine. So I'm going to start with an oil cleanser to remove the day's dirt and SPF. A couple of ingredients that I do want to talk about that I didn't mention earlier are hydroquinone, which I don't know that much about, but you can... Um, you can talk to a dermatologist about that kind of thing, but it is supposed to be a very good ingredient for tackling more serious hyperpigmentation. The Ordinary have a product that's called ascorbic acid and alpha arbutin. So the ascorbic acid is a vitamin C, and then the alpha arbutin is another ingredient that is going to tackle pigmentation up to brighten the skin. So I will link that down below and that's something that you could use as part of your morning routine instead of something like, you know, the slightly gentler vitamin C serum that I used. So I'm just gently going to wipe away the, the residue with a wet washcloth and then I'm going to go in with a second cleanse that will do a little bit of exfoliation. Now I do think in this case, with this type of routine, you do need to have a little bit of exfoliation on there, but nothing too much because if you're using the vitamin C and then you're going in and using the niacinamide and you go in and use a heavy exfoliator, I'm going to go on to use a retinol. Um, if you use too many aggressive ingredients then you are just going to irritate your skin and that is never a good thing. There are many different types of exfoliating cleansers with different types of exfoliating acids. I'm going to use the salicylic acid daily gentle cleanser from Cosrx because this also helps unblock my pores but you can get cleansers with glycolic acid, um, Lactic acid, all different ones. I will link some examples down below for you. But the good thing about this is it's not a leave-on product, so it will gently exfoliate my skin whilst adding to the second cleanse, and um, it will rinse off. So I'm not going to put on an exfoliating toner or serum or something like that, and then go on with the retinol as well. So by rinsing it off, it just helps reduce irritation on your skin. So I'm going to keep this really simple now that my face is thoroughly cleansed. I'm going to go in with a little bit of eye cream and then I'm going to go straight in with retinol. Now there's some great treatment eye creams that contain the ingredients that I'm talking about in this video. But to keep it simple, because I'm doing the retinol, I'm just going to use a little bit of this ginseng brightening eye cream from I'm From. This is a lovely Korean brand. And what I want this to do is just act as a little bit of a buffer and a protector around my eye area because retinol is strong um, and potentially irritating to the eye area um, you've got to be careful so I will probably be kind of like overlapping my retinol in this area a little bit and because I've already done this first to prep the eye it would just uh, help protect it from getting irritated. But Paula's Choice have an amazing retinol eye cream and Drunk Elephant have vitamin C eye creams. And then I've also got uh, this one from African Botanics, which I really like. My favorite retinol right now that I've been using for a while that I think is really good for pigmentation in the skin is the Drunk Elephant one. It's very strong, but you can very easily water it down with a different type of moisturizer. So don't worry if it's too strong for your skin type, you can just water it down. And that also means that it will last longer as well. So in order to do that, I just recommend squeezing a little bit into your hands. So you could literally just start with this tiny little drop. They recommend a pea-sized amount, but you can just use this small amount and uh, add some moisturizer with it, and then that will just water it down. I'm going to add a tiny bit more. And by using a smaller amount rather than a larger amount, 
what you're going to be able to do is your skin will tolerate it better so you will be able to use it more often. To buffer it, I'm going to use the Hada Labo Tokyo Skin Plumping Gel because I haven't gone in with anything that's hydrating and my skin really, really needs some hydration, especially when I'm using retinol. So I've just got that here and then I will just literally kind of make a little cocktail in the palm of my hand and then I've got plenty of that for my face and I'll probably have enough for my neck as well, which I don't usually do um, unless I would water this retinol down because my neck would not be able to handle it. So just kind of going around the orbital bone now that I've already prepped the skin. Always over the nose because that will also help with pores. And then just the very remnants I'll put on my neck. Whilst I go in with a couple of drops of face oil just to seal all that in, I'm just going to recap the ingredients that I've mentioned in today's video. So a really good one to start off with is niacinamide. Now I used that this morning with a vitamin C derivative. However, you've got the option to not use that in conjunction with vitamin C. If you want to use something stronger like L-ascorbic acid, you can use that in the morning and niacinamide works really well with, um, with retinol, which you can use and save that for your evening skincare routine and then you'll still get the benefits of niacinamide but just at a different time of day. A little bit of gentle exfoliation is really good because it will just keep those surface layers moving so they're gently getting removed so the fresh cells can come through and that will just give you brighter fresh out skin and then to finish off with a little bit of retinol in the evening there are so many different retinol products out there i also really like the ones from the ordinary they are just much gentler than the drunk elephant one but that isn't necessarily a bad thing because i feel like slow and steady wins the race if you have got particularly stubborn areas of pigmentation that you're trying to work on another tip that i've got is to get one of the stronger products from the ordinary they have a 23 percent vitamin c in silicone or you can also use the powder to make a mask what I recommend is using something like that overnight you can either just use it as a mask or you can leave it overnight as well I just wouldn't combine that with the retinol and that will help with more stubborn areas of pigmentation if that's something that you're looking to address I hope that you found this video useful if you've got any questions let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to help you out don't forget to give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one